Cool. So now we need to set up the Pardot and Lightning app and then remove the classic app. Um, so there's a couple of steps here. So whilst we're still in the setup section of, part, um, of Salesforce, if we go to manage connected apps and you'll find that in here after you search for manage, what you'll see is a list of apps. And what we want to do, at least in this, this instance is to edit B2BMA, um, canvas. So we need to make sure that this canvas is visible for certain profiles. So this here is just basically the app. Um, B2BMA Canvas is specific to this, this part of kind of setup. So if we scroll down and we go down to manage profiles, you can see that there's no profiles associated with this app. So what we need to do is click manage profiles and then give it to those who we want to have access to, um, to the app. So um, in some cases you might do all of them. Um, you might just want the marketing users, at least in this case, I'm just going to give it to, to everyone in the team. We don't necessarily use all of these, but I'm just going to make sure it's all covered. So I don't have to go back later and then wonder why the app's not showing for certain people. Um, that's a tip. If the app doesn't show for, um, someone in the team, but it does show for you, it's a permission thing. Um, it doesn't mean that it's, it's broken. Perfect. So that's the first step. Um, the second step is to make sure that your user has access to um, CRM features in um, in Salesforce. So you all, you all know what an identity license is. That's basically just a login to Pardot. So an identity license doesn't have um, access to the Pardot and Lightning app because it doesn't have the license. Doesn't have the, It's not a paid. Um, it's not a paid feature as part of that license. So we need to make sure that, for example, if I wanted Tia to have um, access to uh, the, the app, I'd need to make sure that she is um, a CRM user or a sales cloud user or a service cloud user. So I'd need to go down here. Uh, well, first, I need to give her access to Pardot. But then secondly, I'd need to make sure that she is a sales cloud user here, for example, and then this would allow her to then use the, the B2MA, um, canvas, which is the part of lightning app. Perfect. So that's that, that step that, uh, step, sorry, there. And now we need to make the, the actual app, um, visible in the, uh, as a selection in this app setup over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to app manager, go to this step here. Now, best practice, if we go down to this part of section down here, we don't want the classic one to appear anymore because it's messy and we don't really want the iframed experience. So when we go here, it can be a bit confusing because we've got two pardots there um, and we don't necessarily want that. So what you do is you go over to this section here with the app type and you would understand that this pardot one here is classic and this is the one I want to remove. So I'm going to go to, to the classic setup. I'm just going to make it invisible so no one can see it anymore. It still exists. I'm just hiding it from the menu. So now in theory, there should only be one showing and here there is. So I can assume that that's the lightning one, but I'm just going to double check. I'm going to go into the lightning part of app. Go to user profiles. I'm happy that everyone's in the list. So therefore the lightning app should now be available. Let's do a quick check to see if it's, if it has worked. So we'll go here, type Pardot, go to Pardot. And there it is, there it is. So one last thing that you can do is to customize the tabs. And we want to make sure that we're happy with all the tabs that live on this part or app. Um, so when you go to navigation items, you can choose what other um, tabs you want on that app. Uh, I recommend having part or campaigns just by campaigns there because later on you can need the website tracking code. So um, I recommend doing this.